uh, this is uh, Sayyid Muhammad Ahmed Hashmi. Um, add that to the video if you find um, the stuff is helpful. Uh, please subscribe my channel, uh, share and like my videos. The present video is uh, about the theory of meaning. So the question is, what is theory of meaning? Uh, we have a uh, we use language, and in language we use words. And with those words, people have specific meanings. Most of the time, people use uh, the fixed meanings which are written in a database, dictionary, thesaurus, or any word net. Uh, but many of the times, uh, the words are arbitrary and the context is ours. We do not uh, follow the set and certain rules of uh, those words and, and that the cat means it, it is an, an animal and uh, the motorbike means uh, that the, the kind of vehicle. So, uh, hum words ko change kar dete hain. Unke meanings change kar dete hain, context to context. So, uh, the theory which was uh, uh, put forward by Ogden and Richards, that is the theory of meaning. And uh, it is our uh, today's point of discussion. So, uh, I will try to explain uh, this theory in both uh, of the languages in uh, Urdu and English as well. Uh, and uh, I will uh, discuss this article which is written by uh, uh, Bosco in 2002. Uh, I will discuss this article in paragraph. Okay, first of all, the first paragraph. Uh, often we, uh, when we commu uh, when one communicates, he or she does not give any special attention to how he or she communicates. As a result, communication between the parties is either diminished or lost altogether. होता ये है कि आप लोग किसी काम में busy हैं, अचानक से कोई बंदा आता है, कोई भर्जन आता है, वो आपसे आके कहता है, कोई question कर लेता है, या कोई भी आपसे बात करने की कोशिश करता है, but at that moment, because you are not with that person, you are busy in your task. You do not uh, get his or her point. This way, what happens is that the communication is not going to be able to get the communication. I came from a meeting, and I asked someone to ask Because I was, the, in, uh, I was with that meeting scenario, and I was thinking about that meeting at that moment when I just got out of that meeting room. I didn't understand the question of the outside person. I didn't know what he was talking about. In this way, what happens is that we are उस कम्युनिकेशन को अंडरस्टैंड ही नहीं कर पाते जो कि बंदा हमारे साथ स्टार्ट करना चाह रहे हैं आपको पता है कि डिफरेंट जो पर्सनस होते हैं और, और, और हम ये कह सकते हैं कि सबके सब लोग हर उन हर एक का स्टाइल ऑफ टॉकिंग डिफरेंट होता है हर एक का कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल डिफरेंट होता है कुछ लोगों का ज्यादा इंप्रेसिव होता है परसुएसिव होता है और कुछ लोगों का नॉर्मल होता है कुछ लोगों को लोग पसंद करते हैं कि उनका स्टाइल बड़ा अच्छा है उनका समझाने का स्टाइल बहुत अच्छा है उनका प्रेजेंट करने का स्टाइल बहुत अच्छा है तो इसका मतलब क्या होता है कि वो द काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन यू आर इन वो किस तरीके से चल रही है क्या आपके और आप, आपके और आपके लिसनर के दरमियान एक स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्ड मौजूद है तो इस तरीके से ये कॉन्टेक्सट और सर्कमस्टांसिस और योर मैथड्स योर चॉइस ऑफ लैंग्वेज योर यूज ऑफ वर्ड्स इधर दे आर यूजिंग यू आर यूजिंग दोज वर्ड विद द फिक्स meanings or you are defining your meaning your own or the context is defining the meaning so ye sari cheeze bahut maayne rakhti hain okay to isme hum aaj ye dekhenge ki during communication kya hurdles hoti hain during communication wo kaun se factors hain jisse hamare meanings zyada acche se clear aur convey ho sakte hain so uh, as a result communication between the parties is either diminished or lost altogether scholars have spent countless years analyzing human communication and have spent same amount of time formulating theories bahut sara kaam ho chuka hai aur ye tab se ho raha hai jab wo kehte hain ki insaan ne pehli communication start ki thi wo janna chahte hain ki communication kis tarike se zyada strong banayi ja sakti hai communication kis tarike se khatam hoti hai okay uh, formulating theories and attempt to answer the question pertaining to how we communicate and why we choose methods we do hum ye janne ki koshish karenge ki aisa kyun hai ki hum mukhtalif methods ka istemal karte hain hum mukhtalif strategies ka istemal karte hain apne words ke meanings ko convey karne ke liye jaise ki wo kehta hai ki scholar hain a richards analyzed human communication is co formulated a theory known as theory of meaning ye 1927 mein Uh, uh, जो है ऑगडन uh, और रिचर्ड्स ने ये थीरी पुफ फॉरवर्ड की थी 
कि कम्युनिकेशन के जी ये फैक्टर्स हैं जो इसको इफेक्टिव बनाते हैं और कम्युनिकेशन के जी ये फैक्टर हैं जो इसको जो है लोअर करते हैं इसके लेवल को और बाज़ अवत क्या होता है कि स्पीचन अच्छे तरीके से चल ही नहीं पाती ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड ऑगडन एंड रिचर्स थी अटैम्प्ट to not only describe the approaches human takes when communicating but also to understand how communication is lost when not done correctly to wahi baat dobara se isme wo bata raha hai ki hum isme analysis karenge ki kis tarike se communication ko zyada effective banaya ja sakta hai aur kaun si which are those approaches which human beings take uh, to convey their messages and to have a strong communication and which are those factors which make any कम्युनिकेशन लेस इफेक्टिव और देर इज अ डेंजर टू बी लॉस्ट 